Who made you my guardian? How dare you speak so, so, such rubbish? What's your damn business how I live my life? Listen and listen very carefully. I live my life how I want it. Your business in this house is to open and close the damn gate. Not to advise me on how to live my life. Mind what pays you, okay? The next time you will stop me to say any kind of rubbish about my lifestyle, I will go with you and make sure you pay and I'll make sure I suck you. Did you hear me? Did you hear me? Get out of here! Get out of here! What rubbish? Just open and close the gate, then you! What else are you here for? Robert, close gate! Mind your business! I am telling you about her excesses in this house. You need to do something about her recent behavior. Just this afternoon, she slapped Harry for no just cause. <sighs> do something before this thing gets out of hands. Are you honestly listening to yourself? You talk as if she's not your own daughter. What effort are you making to cop the supposed bad lifestyle that she has? What efforts are you making to make sure that this girl goes back on track? What efforts, Vera? What am I supposed to do when she does not even regard me? Honey, Asha has become something that I... If she was your biological daughter, will you, Vera, sit back and tell me things she's done and things she's not done? Will you sit back and tell me, oh, she doesn't talk to me? What efforts will he have made to make sure he put her back on the right track? Vera, I married you for two reasons. Please, do not get me wrong. I truly, truly love you. I married you because when Asha lost the mother, I thought that you're going to feel the vacuum that the death of her mother dented upon her life. And you promised me, you promised me, Donald, that you will love and care for her as your own. Tell me, Vera, are you doing that now? Are you doing that? Are you blaming me for how she decides to live her life? What am I supposed to do when she won't let me help? She is your child. She is your daughter. If you loved and cared for her, just the way you care and love Joe, honey, we would not be having this conversation right now. Mm, this is what you always do. You, you blame me for everything that happens. Whatever goes wrong, you blame me for it. You're right. Yeah. I take the blame. It's all my fault. Are you happy now? Honey, I just told you the plain truth. The plain truth. The earlier you started leaving your role as the mother in this house, the better it will be for every one of us in this family, do your duty. Coming. Good morning, Dad. Good morning, my love. 
How are you? I'm okay, Daddy. What are you doing here? My love, what is happening to you? What are you trying to do to yourself? What is happening to me? Nothing is happening to me. I don't understand. What are you talking about? What I'm talking about is this recent lifestyle of yours. I mean, are you planning to ruin yourself? Huh? I hear you've not even been to school ever since I traveled. And that yesterday you slapped Larry. What is going on? Wow. Let me in, please. Simply, wow. Well, I can see that your precious wife has been running her mouth like tap water. Of course. Who else? Well, like I said, Daddy, I am fine. And I don't need this attention that you're giving me. Please go and give it to your wife and her precious son. I don't need it. Asha is good. Okru. My love. That woman you call my wife is your stepmother now. And that is the only mother you have right now. Yes. And Joe is your baby brother. Least you forget. This path you are toiling on now is not the right one. It's not. You see, it breaks my heart. It's really breaking my heart to see that you're hurting. And that's why I want to know what is going on. Tell me, please. Did I not say that I am fine? In fact, I am perfectly fine. Look at me. Does it look like something is wrong with me? I do not need this. Please, Daddy, just go. I want to be left alone. But, baby, but what Daddy, are you... just go, okay? Please. But can... Daddy... You just leave me alone. Okay. Go to your wife. Go to your precious wife. Go. Okay. I'm sure she has many more things to say about me. Unpleasant things to say about me. Go and listen to her. Leave me alone. Just came back. She won't even allow you to rest. She's having gossiping. That's all she knows how to do. Eat your money and gossip. That's all. Next time, I'll slap her. Larry. Larry. Yes, ma'am. Didn't you tell the ogre what Asha did to you? It's nothing, ma'am. So you want her to rupture your eardrums before you speak out? I am talking to you, you're smiling like what I don't understand. Why don't you want to speak out? Ma, I'm, I'm sure maybe she was angry. That's why she did what she did. And I wouldn't want to bother my boss because of that minor incident. Oh, really? So, you're doing good, boy. And um, anyways, it's your ears. So by the time she finished the eardrum, then you want to report to your ogre. So you will not tell him so he will stop her from slapping you next time. I'm sure it will not happen again. <sighs> All right. Be there for me, good boy. Until she finishes everything. Anyways, you can go back to your duty post. Thank you for your concern. Who 
enter my kitchen to cook. I am talking to you. How dare you? Try this, I will slit your throat. Rubbish. <laughs> I told you to send this girl away for you. Please talk to me now. Eh? Who did this to you? Joe, what happened to your mommy? Asha tried to use a knife to kill me. Ah! Asha! Asha! Why would Asha want to kill you with a knife? Talk to me, please. You're asking me. You're asking me. When I told you to check this girl's behavior lately, what did you do? Did you listen to me? If not for Larry, you would have met my cops. He, he pulled me from her grave. She, she bounced on me with a knife. And... See, that girl, she, she needs a therapist. Oh. She, needs a, she, she can't stay in this house anymore. We're not safe. We're not safe with her. Wait, 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 wait. Why would Asha want to kill you with a knife? I don't understand it. It's impossible. No, you didn't just ask me that. Go and ask her. All I can remember is I entered the kitchen and told her to excuse me. I want to make dinner. That was all I can remember. And she, she bounced on me with a knife. See, thank Larry. If not for him that came to my rescue, <laughs> only God knows what would have happened. Um, Asha did this to you. Where is she now? I, I don't know. Asha! 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 Larry, Sir. what happened between Asha and the stepmom? I heard you were there. Uh, I was actually working on them. I saw Asha holding a knife close to your wife's neck. But, but, but I'm sure she didn't intend to use it because she was really not holding it that close to her neck. Was there any kind of argument? Did they fight? What happened? I didn't hear any argument. What I heard was Asha telling her not to repeat whatever she did again. Uh, and that was it. Where is Asha now? Uh, she she left. She's not back yet, sir. When she comes back, tell her to see me. Okay, sir. Asha, since I have tried, I have really tried to reason with you amicably, to no avail. And you, you will not talk to me about anything, nothing. Huh? I have come to that conclusion that you will no longer disrupt the peace of this house. You will not endanger the life of anyone in this house. Whatever madness you have must stop. 
I will not tolerate any of your excesses anymore. Enough! Okay. Did you just say, okay? Okay. That's all you can say? Whatever this madness is all about, it must stop! You will not endanger the lives of people in this house. Fine. Should I leave the house as well? No, let me go so you can impress your darling, precious wife. Okay, it's not a big deal. I can go. What rubbish are you talking about? Huh? And what is this nonsense about impressing who? What are you- Dad, please. Isn't it what this is all about? Making your precious wife happy. Oh, darling. Oh, she did this. Oh, Asha. Oh, Asha. Asha, Asha, Asha all the time. I can go so you can make her happy. Please, daddy. Save this your energy. Use it on something better. I don't need all these sermon and lectures, okay? Please. I'll be in my room. Asha. A Asha. Come back here. I'm still talking. Asha. What is this thing you're not telling me about what is happening with Asha? Why is she always repeating about being useless and trying to impress you? Huh? What are you not telling me, Vera? I don't understand. You just spoke to your daughter. And if there's something you need clarification on, you should ask her. How am I supposed to know what she's thinking? Why is there a sudden change in her? Why? This is not my Asha. Something must have triggered this irrational behavior. And I want to know what it is. I think you should ask her. Yes. If there's something we need to know so we can deal with it, or better still, get a therapist. Yeah. You know this helps we are not safe any longer if she continues to behave like this. Vera, what baffles me is the way you exonerate yourself from all this. Are you not the mother in this house? Is she not your daughter? Huh? Have you ever called her to have a, a mother and daughter conversation to find out what exactly is the problem. To know what is the matter. All I get is, do something, uh, do something. What exactly have you done? What effort have you made, Vera? Honey, I am still going through the trauma of what she did to me. I don't have the strength to be held at knife point again in this house. And stop blaming me for whatever she does. I don't make decisions for her. That is the excuse you always make. But I want you to hear me and hear me very well. Huh? I am going to get to the bottom of this matter. Like I said, listen. I will not spare anyone. If I find something is that Miss Vera, it's a promise. It's a promise, Vera.
Excuse me, Asha. Asha, excuse me. What now? Can I have a word? I hope this is not you meddling in my life affair because I am not in the mood for it. I will not take that from you. I have never meddled in your affair and I do not intend to do that. I just want to discuss an idea with you. I'm listening. Talk. The, the idea is kind of lengthy and I, I am busy now. I don't know if we could do that when I'm less busy with my work, like in the evening. Pray I get a chance. I didn't know that she will make it and... Hey, hey, you said you had something to tell me. What is it? Okay, oh, um, please. <coughs> hey, it's... you. Just sit, it might take a while. Ugh. Please don't slap me. My eardrums are still ringing from the previous slap. Are you trying to be funny? Please, please, what is it? You said you wanted to tell me something. Go ahead and say it. I'm listening. I don't have one night. Okay. <clears throat> I know you are not the way what child you are to make everyone believe you are. And if you continue that part, you will only hurt yourself. What rubbish are you talking about? How is that any of your business? I am an orphan. I lost my parent to auto crash when I was 14. And um, I can say that I have been in this same position that you are right now. And I made mistakes. Mistakes that I have not recovered from till now. And I see you making that mistake. And if you do, you will continue to regret it for the rest of your life. It is the same mistake that have brought me here as your father's kid man. What are you talking about? I ask again, how is this any of your business? You do not know anything about me. Your stepmother is making you feel worthless and useless. And you're behaving this way to get back at her. And also to get back at your father for not listening to you. You see, they did the same thing to me. And that is why I know what you are passing through. My aunt and her husband, they spooked me with dehumanizing words and I lost myself. And trust me, nobody wants to side with an irresponsible child to take over wealth. Huge wealth for that matter. And in your case, she has a son who is going to become a perfect heir. I want you to think about it.
your, your stepmother is making you feel worthless and useless and you're doing all of this thing to get back at her and also to your dad for not listening to you. My aunt and her husband they spooked me with dehumanizing words and I lost myself. And trust me, nobody wants to side with an irresponsible child to take over wealth. Huge word for that matter. Huge word for that matter. And, and in your case, case she has, has a son. son. She has a 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 son. What did Joe do to you that you want to kill him? Kill him? I only corrected him. <laughs> you corrected him, and you want to kill him just like that? Kill him? I don't understand. I How don't... will you understand? How would you understand when you have become so useless? You're not useful in the house. <laughs> Did you just call me useless? <laughs> Isn't it obvious? Or are you pretending you don't know? In some families, girls are the ones who organize the home. But in your own case, it's different. Who knows what your mother suffered before she died? What did you just say? Are you insinuating that I killed my mother? Isn't it obvious? Who will have a useless child like you and not die on time? What? First, you said I nearly killed Joe just because I was trying to correct him. My own brother. Now you're insinuating hey, that I killed hey, my hey, mother. Hey, please, please, please. Just stop those crocodile tears. I've seen them plenty of times. I'm going to warn you, and this is going to be the last warning. Stay away from Joe. Stay away from my son. You have nothing to do with him. I will not warn you again. This is going to be the last warning. If you step close to him again, she would like the end of it. Joe! Joe! Honey, I am surprised you believed all she said. <laughs> Hold on. You actually called me here because of my daughter. <sighs> this is insulting and degrading. Why will I insult my daughter and desecrate her mother's memory? That she's lying. Don't fall for this show she's putting up. She is lying. She called me a witch. She said I, I killed mom and that I want to kill my brother Joe. Look at the faces she's making that just turn around and you see that Enough! She's... Enough of this rubbish! What is wrong with you? What is wrong with you, my daughter? Please, tell me. Let me help you. Let us help you, what? please. Help me? Daddy, I am not the problem. I don't need help. She's the one who needs help! Ever since you married this woman into this family, she has brought nothing but chaos and, and problems and more problems! I say enough! Enough of this rubbish! This woman you call that woman is your stepmother! And she deserves the respect! What is this? Huh? For God's sake, can't somebody have sanity in this house? What is this? Telling you what she said, and you're just. Asha. You're my daughter. I love you, and you know it. Let me help you. I know you need help. You need help. You're a two faced witch that needs help. Daddy, 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 see. Ah! Yay! Daddy, you should have just told you that scene, and nah, 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 nah. she just made a very ugly face, and now she's smiling. You should see what I'm talking Asha, you need help. You need help. You need help. Bigger help. Oh. Baby, baby, it's all your mind. Eh? What is the problem? Let me help you. Please. Oh, this is like I'm running mad. Think about it. Think about it. Think about it. Mm 
Hi. I'm I'm here. Do you need me for anything? Uh, what should I do? What well, I I don't understand. What what should you do about what? What you said turns out to be true. What do I do in this situation? Please. Thanks. Thank you. I honestly I can't say that I have a ready advice for you. But what I will say is uh, you need to develop thick skin toward her tactics and don't let all the things she does get to you. How am I supposed to do that when she's always saying mean things that are piercing right through my soul? She's always eager to attack me. What about your father? What is he saying about this? Have you told him? She has managed to manipulate him into believing that I am the problem. He now thinks I have mental issue. Oh, well, you, you can't blame him. Your behavior these days has not really been rational. And that's exactly what she wants. What do I do? Go back to school. Being properly educated is the first step towards becoming really relevant. You need to do that for yourself. At least get away from all this craziness around here. And you, you need to stop this, your rebellious act. And, and go back to the sweet daughter your father used to know. You, you have to do that for yourself. This is your house. Own it. You need to take back your father. Chief is your father. Um, thank you so much, Larry. Nice. You have been helpful. I appreciate it. Anything. But if you really want to thank me, just do good by yourself. I will. Um, Larry. I just want to say that I'm sorry for hitting you. I didn't mean to. I was in a bad place. No, it, it's in the past now. It's fine. Thank you. So, she has decided to go back to school. It's a beautiful development. Thank God my efforts are beginning to yield positive results. I am so overjoyed. This has been my endless prayer. You know, I couldn't imagine seeing my daughter in such a pitiable state. It devastated me. Yeah. I couldn't come up from that and it, it, it hurt me. I just want to thank God for this turnaround. I have always known she will come around. Asha is a good kid. What happened to her is a face. 
I'm happy she... It's in the past now. I am very happy. <laughs> uh, honey, we need to do everything not to make her relapse. I don't want to ever see her in this state again. I don't want you to begin to accuse me of not doing my motherly duties. Uh, I'm so sorry, my love. You see, I was overwhelmed with everything that was happening with Tuasha. Please forgive me. I would never, never accuse you again. I just want to say thank you. Thank you for all the efforts. I mean it from the bottom of my heart. Thank you for the efforts you've made in bringing this family back together again. It's okay. That's what you always say. And later you go back and turn into something else. Come on now, never. Come here, my baby. Come. Mm -hmm. You are really amazing. Thank you. Collected money from your father. Are you going back to school? <laughs> well, you know the money is meant to fund your wayward lifestyle. Oh, what a cheap lie. <laughs> Do you really think you can go back to school? When last did you go to school? Eight months ago, I guess. With all the carryovers and everything, you think you can meet up again? All your friends, they are all ahead of you. And you think you can meet up? Anyways, I understand what you need the money for. Probably for your drugs and um, nothing more. <laughs> You've become a junkie, so you need it. As a keep up. You've become so useless. What baffles me most is your father is so blind to know that you're not useful. He doesn't even think it, even when I tell him. He argues it, that you can't amount to anything anymore. Anyways, it's your way. That's what you're good at. Yes. <laughs> yes. See, you won already. Okay? Don't 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 give her anything. I like how you played it. You did not say anything, so she didn't get anything out of you. So you need to celebrate this victory. <laughs> celebrate? Yes! You don't understand. I want to give her a piece of my mind. I want to give it to her. Hot, hot! You don't, you don't even get it. Mm -hmm. don't, don't you understand? Why is she always speaking on me? Why is she putting so much effort into trying to make me feel useless and worthless? What have I ever done to her? Why is she trying to make life miserable for me? No! See, you don't have to do anything again. You don't need to let her win again. You already won. You already won. Well done. You did really good and I am proud of you. So, I'll tell you something I'm going to tell you and I'm Sure, it is going to cheer you up. <laughs> Are you ready? Are you ready to hear it? Fine. <laughs> See, 
if it's not working again. She has suddenly stopped minding the things I do. I have tried inciting her to anger and rash behavior, but she just ignores and, and, and that's it. What changed? Is she talking to someone? I don't know. She has always been a private person and I've not seen her with anyone. But she has changed lately. She's even making plans to go back to school. All we have worked is going into waste. That shouldn't happen. We need her out of the way before we start working on her father. What do we do? Whatever we have to do, we have to do it fast. Else, our plans will be shattered. Don't panic yet. Just add more efforts to what you're doing. If this method doesn't work, we will apply other methods. There are many ways to kill a rat. <laughs> we have many options. I'll take you for your words this time. Okay. We'll talk later. I have to go. Bye. <phone rings> You're not serious. I am serious. Oh my god. It's the don't touch it. Fan it. That really got me. <laughs> so what did you do to actually stop the pain? Stop. Okay. I didn't stop anything. No. Eh? I just sat down there, spread my leg oh, wide no. while they took turns as fanning my central government. <laughs> it was something else. I didn't know I was going to recover. <laughs> That must really be a painful experience. Painful. It was <laughs> terrible. I'm sorry, I'm laughing at you. I just... <laughs> no, no, feel free. Feel I'm trying free. to picture the scenario. Feel free. Feel free to laugh. <sighs> You've really made me laugh today. I can't remember the last time I had this much laughter. <sighs> what? <laughs> I didn't know you were really such a great company. I'm happy I could make you laugh. <laughs> yes, you at did. Least you've gotten over <laughs> <laughs> no 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 you really took my mind off my body for a second thank you uh I, I have to run along now i need to meet up with the woman running my school stuff so i have to see her all right all right central government <laughs> asha you are doing great already thanks How is school and how is the pre-registration and everything going? Mm, it's going well, Dad. Even though it's not easy. You know I missed out on a lot. So I managed to register the courses that I carried over. And I'm trying to meet up with the semester's um, course outline as well. I know I'm behind, way behind schedule, but I'll catch up. Impressive. Yeah. I'm just so happy for you and so proud too. I am very happy that you have finally reclaimed your life for yourself. Hmm? And always know that whenever, whatever you want, hmm? come to me, my love. Don't you ever forget that. Anything. Okay? <laughs> Thank you, Daddy. Yeah, Asha, I'm so happy for you. Um, what you're doing for yourself now and for the family. Always know that we are there to help you anytime you need help from us. Yeah. Mommy, I also need friends and school. Cam and Building no longer play with me. I need them to start playing with me. Joe, what did you do to them that made them not to play with you again? Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.
You are each time you're doing your job. I mean, the other day I saw you dancing while you were washing the cars. <laughs> you saw that? I, I hope I didn't give too much. Uh, I wouldn't know because I was too busy enjoying your dance steps. <laughs> Thank you. Is there anything you want me to do for you? Um, actually, um. <clears throat> Yes. Okay. I was born inside, so I decided to come and ask if you would offer me your company. My company? Mm -hmm. I do not have any furnitures to give you today. Oh, well, I'm not looking forward to any of that. I'd rather you tell me more about yourself. You promise to give me more details. We've been through this already now. Yes, I promise to tell you, but not now. I'm not ready now. So since that cannot happen, what else would you want? Uh, I don't know. Well, no funny gist. You're not going to tell me about yourself. What now? Hmm? Okay. How about um, how about you just tell me about yourself, and then let me use that format to know how I can tell you wow. about myself when I start talking. I think that will work. It's really a <laughs> That's tricky. You're being corny, no? Yeah, I'm not falling for this. There's no way. Hmm. Mm -mm. So since you are not ready to do that, and there is no funny story, mm -hmm. that means you are in for a staring competition. Okay. And you know it's going to be to my advantage because I'm going to be staring into the most beautiful <laughs> lady's face. <laughs> Who are you? Doing this, why are you so corny? Right. Oh my god, okay, you win. Fine. <laughs> <laughs> Get her out of the way subtly, then we use forceful method. Have you found out anything about his will? Not intangible yet. But I overheard him talking with his lawyer. I guess he wants to make some changes. That means you haven't been doing your part properly. We agreed that you will pressure him until he incorporates you and your son into the will. Everything was working well until the stupid girl started misbehaving. I don't know. I'll do something about it. Anyways, that doesn't matter. Once she's out of the way, he won't have any other choice. He wouldn't wheel out properties to a dead girl, will he? <laughs> what other alternative do we have? Who's there? What are you doing here? Please, do you have a minute? I want to talk to you. Is this a joke, right? This is a joke. Please, can you leave? Get out before I lose my cool. Asha, please. I know I have wronged you. I need you to forgive me. I beg you in the name of God, please. Hey, hey, hold it there. What do you think you're doing? Asha, please. I 
have done things I am not proud of. I've realized my mistake. I allowed jealousy to consume me. You're my daughter, and I should love you as one. Give me the chance to love you as a mother would. Who is your daughter? <laughs> Are you high? I can see that you're, 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 you're high. You're high on cheap drugs. Listen, hasn't your deceitful self told you that I have found out your tactics and I'm not falling for it anymore? Get out of my room. What, what are you still doing here? Leave this place. Calm down. Calm down, okay? Please. Forgive me. All I ask is your forgiveness. Please. Get out of my room. Get out of my room! Are you still here? Leave this place! Can you imagine? Who do you think you're deceiving? I am not falling for your trash anymore. Leave! Do I look like a kid to you? Manipulative, very manipulative and deceitful human being. You think you can walk in here and, 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 and lie to me? You think you can manipulate me? You can't manipulate me. I'm not my father. See, don't tell me to calm down. You need to see the kind of humiliation I suffered in the hands of that little brat. See, I will never try such again. You are shouting. Don't let anyone hear you. Don't let your anger rain things for us. You know the implication. I am not shouting. All I am saying is, whatever the second alternative is, it should be initiated immediately. I am done treating that fool with kids' gloves. I heard what you said. I will initiate the process. But while I am on it, make sure you don't do anything rash that would jeopardize this mission. I am not going to prison for any reason. All right. I heard you. I will... Hello? I told you that woman is manipulative. What makes you think she can play with my intelligence anytime she pleases? Okay, just Do I look like a fool? Just calm Do down. I? Calm down. Calm down. Just breathe. Okay? Breathe. Don't let her upset you again. Okay? I know her actions are insulting and... But let's just look out for what it tells us. What does it tell us? I don't know. I just feel that when an enemy apologizes, it can only mean two things. One, maybe they've given up on the fight. And two, maybe they are planning something deadly. Hmm. Then she should bring it on. I am ready for whatever. No. This is not the time to show bravery and strength. This is the time to carefully watch and apply wisdom. Do you think I should tell my dad about all of this? No. Oh, why? Why would you tell your dad? Whatever you say to your dad now, she will turn it against you and your dad will believe her as always. If you must report her to your dad, you must come with evidence. Solid one. How come you know so much about this? I, I think it's your dad. I, I need to go. I need to go. I need to go. Larry! It's been days and you haven't said anything about the woman I asked for. About that, yeah. But what do you need 800,000 naira for? That's a huge amount, you know, baby. Like, seriously? <sighs> like, 800,000 is too much to ask from my husband? Too much to take care of my upkeep and change of wardrobe? When last did I ask for such a man from you? But I just paid your monthly allowance two weeks ago. So what And I'm you think that is enough to take care of myself? 
Is it because I don't demand like other women do? You know what? I don't need the money. And I want to ask you again. Don't complain if you see me dressed like a mad woman. Ah. Ah, ah. Honey, is that how we used to do? Smarty, you're already angry. <laughs> eh? But I will just... Uh, no. I am happy. I am happy that I ask you for such a one time you deny me. Come Anyways, on, come just on, keep baby. your money. I don't need it. Come on, baby. All I just want to know is, what do you want to do with the money? Leave me. And don't ask me that again. I'll never ask you again. Just let it be. Ah, come on, baby. I didn't say I wasn't going to give you the money. We just answered the question. That's all. Hey, come, let's come back now. Eh? Do that thing again now. Eh? I will give you. Touch me now. You stop being like this. Touch. Chris, there. It's me, Larry. Oh, Larry. Come in. Wow. This is the first. Who brought you to my room? Um, I... I'm here to wish you a happy birthday. <gasps> oh my god. Happy birthday to you, Asha Donald. I wish you all the happiness, love, peace and joy that you crave for. I... I know you deserve more. And I wish you even the more that you deserve. Happy birthday <laughs> to you. Thank you so much. This is so sweet of you. I appreciate you. Thank you. You know, recently you have been a source of joy and sweetness to me. Wow. I don't take it for granted. I am happy I can do that for you, my beautiful friend. <laughs> I had to know it was my birthday. Oh, well, when I care about someone, I make it my duty to know even the tiniest detail about them. So I found out. Mm, so you care about me? Of course I do. I mean, recently you have been the only real good thing that has happened to me, my very good friend. And then I do appreciate that. This is beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. Can I? May I? Oh, sure. This is beautiful. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> um, I, I think someone might be at the gate. I need to go back. Okay. Yes. And Larry, yeah. Yeah. thank you so much for always being here, putting a smile on my face, making me forget about my worries. Thank you. It's my pleasure. I really appreciate it. Thank and you. I love this. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Let, let me just go. <laughs> Oh my god. I hope you didn't spend all this time around me. Stop. Come on, it's me. You're making me shy. <laughs> <laughs> Your smile, your eyes, everything about you, you are the most beautiful person I have ever known. Mm, I know. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm not just talking about your physical beauty. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about your soul, your heart. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about everything inside and outside. It is perfect. 
<sighs> I am so lucky. Oh my god. So blessed that you're mine. You're about to make my head explode. <laughs> I'm holding it. Please do. <laughs> Thank you. That's your I don't thing. know what life would have been without you. I'm honest. I, I don't know what I have done right to deserve you. <laughs> Thank you. You're so sweet with words. God, I don't even know what to say. So it's all a dream. Ugh, take me back. I'm always dreaming about him. Ugh. Larry. <sighs> What is it? Did anything happen inside? If you're going to do what you do to me, I should at least know the details about your life. I... What am I doing to you? I, I don't understand. This, this feeling you ignite inside of me. That won't let me go a second without thinking about you. I can't help it when I don't even know who you are. Asha, what are you talking about again? I'm not taking any excuses anymore. You set this fire in my heart. Think about you every second, Larry. And the thoughts are beautiful thoughts. They come with please and calmness that I've not felt in a long time. I just want to know about the man who has captivated my heart. Uh, okay, um, I, I will tell you everything about myself, but it will not be now so that you will not interfere with my job. Maybe in the evening when I will be free. Okay, evening then. I'll come so you tell me everything. I promise I will. Okay. Hi. <laughs> and Asha. You. You are not the only one dealing with the feeling. I am dealing with it too. Really? I don't even know how come I need you I don't even know how come I want you But the way I'm feeling now I think I'm in love I don't even know how come I want you I don't even know how come I need you But the way I'm feeling now How long will it take you to pick your call? I've been calling you I've transferred the money. I saw it. So when is it happening? I will let you know when it's time. And in the meantime, don't do anything rash. The 
this is what you've been saying for ages. My patience is running out. And this is beginning to torment me. You just have to do something. You are mounting unnecessary pressure on base. I keep telling you that things need to be done carefully to avoid boomerangs. You are beginning to frustrate this plan. What do you mean? What? <sighs> so this fool thinks he's in charge, right? All right, wait until I'm done with you. <sighs> Are you in there? Yes, Dad. Daddy. Good evening, my love. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Why are you here? Well, I just came to see if daddy and daughter can have their time together. That's okay, right? Yes, it's okay, daddy. But you know I'm not a little princess anymore. I'm an adult now. <laughs> you don't understand. No matter how old you grow, you always have a place in my heart as my little princess. You always say that, Daddy. Why are you here? Okay. I'm just checking on you and to tell you how, how happy I am seeing you doing wonderfully well. You don't know how much of a proud and happy father you have made me. I'm happy that you're happy, Daddy. And I'm sorry for all the time that my behavior hurt you. I promise uh, I won't do that to you again. Nah, you don't have to say that. Huh? That's all in the past. I don't blame you for anything. Hmm? I am grateful for where we are now. What is most important is the stability we have as a family now. Okay? Okay, Daddy. I love you, Daddy. I, I love you more. Make you proud. And then you one day say, that's the daughter that I am proud oh. of. I'm pleased <laughs> with. <laughs> well, I love you more. And um, I just want you to know one thing. I never doubted what you would become. Always think about that, okay? Let me leave you. Yeah, let me leave you and um, get some um, beauty sleep. Okay, daddy. Okay. All right. Good night, daddy. Sweet dreams, eh? Thank you. Good night. Good night. What are you doing here? I called a million times and you won't answer. So I decided to come in person. I told you I would let you know when everything is said. Do you think it's something you just woke up and do? Did you hear yourself talk? You asked for every information that I gave you. I paid you. All you needed, I provided them. And you told me you're going to take care of things. So what are you doing? I told you soon is soon. <laughs> How soon is soon? Because it's already taking long. Besides, if you'd have handled your part, we wouldn't be talking about this. Oh, really? Yeah. If you know what is good for you, you better take care of this. And don't try this risky stunt next time. What do you think Chief is going to think when he sees us together? Then take care of everything if you don't want Chief to get us. Or else, you know what it is? You have to be careful. Be and careful. And do your part well. That was that entity. Ow! Oh, sorry, no. Uh, you're supposed to make you relax. Ah, oh, it's too hard. Mm. <laughs> <Have you bought? laughs> no. My wit, my wit. Slowly. Slowly. Yes. Thank you, thank you. Mm. Ouch! Stop shouting that kind of shout. Let me do what I <laughs> Okay. <laughs>
Oh. Uh-uh, it's not even that big. What are you shouting? It is. Yeah. Larry. Yeah. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. What is it? Why is your face like that? You mean why? What do you mean why is my face like that? Your stepmother, she saw both of us being cozy. Mm -hmm. Does that not bother you? Why should it? Am I not old enough to have a boyfriend? And of all the men, your father's kid, man. Oh, please. No one has the right to tell me who to be with or who not to be with. Not even my dad. You take things lightly. This is, this is, this is an issue. This should be an issue. <laughs> but it's not, I'm sorry, it's not an issue. Just relax. Just continue. I was enjoying that. I uh, 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 just actually. Ah. <laughs> Wait, this is funny. <laughs> see, if you want to, if you pin, let's see, for example, but, but I know he's not pinning, just shouting, that shout. Just do. Okay. Okay. Ashley, I'm happy you've decided to give love a chance. I'm happier you you found one. How come I'm the last to know about this? Hmm? I'm happy for you. You didn't tell me either. But as a mother, I I found out myself when I suspected something was going on between Larry and uh, Asha. So I, I've confirmed that. Which Larry? Larry that's at my gates. Of course, the same Larry that you know. Asha, please tell me this is not true. <laughs> oh, how can I forget? I think you both have said it as we are family now, eh? To have a prank of me and do and put on YouTube, eh? <laughs> You're serious? You're serious? Larry, the gates man, I do not ever want to hear that name mentioned in this house. Don't make myself clear. Honey, why are you angry? Love happened in strange ways. What we should do is to give them our support. That's it. Support? Huh? Eh? I should support my only daughter in a love entanglement with my gates, man. Are you mad? Is your head okay? Huh? No, sis. Uh, oh, yeah. Larry. Ah! Honey, come and finish your food now. I know you think you have won. Hmm? I know you think you have scored a point, but let me tell you, you just made everything easy. You see this game you're playing? <laughs> Read my lips. I will win at the end of it all. Are you going to bet? Let's see it goes. Bet!
this is a big problem. I, I don't know what to do and I do not want to have problem with your father. So what do you want to do? End what we have? No, never. Don't even mention it again. I would rather lose the world than lose you. Then don't worry about it, okay? Let me take care of it. And that is not even why I called you. Okay. I called you to tell you that you should consider registering for the program we talked about. <laughs> wow, no. I don't have such kind of money. Mm, the total cost for the program is 600,000 Naira. Yes. And also agreed for installment payments. Which is 400,000 to 25. I will give you the 400,000 Naira. So you can make the first payment. Then I'll run around for the remaining. No, 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 no you don't have to do that. I Look, am I... not asking. It's okay. Let's do this. Okay? I don't even know what to say. You have continued to make my life beautiful. I don't know what I did. I made you love me this much. I eternally blessed the day our path crossed. It's okay. Thank you. You don't have to say anything, okay? Just go out there and be the man that you dreamt of being. And I believe in you. What, what is, what are you doing? No, 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 don't, don't do that. Don't, don't even cry on me. No, 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 don't. You know what? It's okay, it's fine. I'll, I'll tell my daddy to give you some days off so that you can start your registration and you need to take some time to study. For now, I will give you my laptop before we can get you one, okay? Don't, don't worry about your dad. I'll talk to him myself. It's okay. Thank you. Cheer up, okay? <laughs> Stop doing that. This is the most beautiful thing anyone has ever done for me. So, Larry, don't forget what I said. Yes, sir. Make sure when they deliver the mail, I'll bring it straight I'll to you. Straight to me. Okay. All right, sir. Uh, sir, please. I, I have been meaning to discuss something with you. Anything the matter? No, there's no problem. So I just wanted to ask if I can get three hours during the weekends. Three hours? Why? I want to register for a artificial intelligence and robotics, so I need those hours to attend lectures. AI and robotics? Yes, sir. Mm. So you want to learn? Yes, sir. That's all right. So how many hours are we talking about here? Uh, three to four hours. So. Three to four hours. Well, um, as long as it's not early mornings and late evenings, you have all you want Fridays and Saturdays. Thank you, sir. Okay? Yes, sir. Yeah. Thank so, you. yeah. Uh, Larry, sir. Whatever intention you think you have, or whatever you think you're doing with my daughter, I want you to have it at the back of your mind that I do not support it. Are you listening to me? Yes, sir. I don't want to ever hear thoughts, hear anything about that again. Get the car ready, I'm coming out. All right. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> <laughs> You've been doing your worst. Mm -hmm. And it's alright. Okay. That is fine. Come on, don't waste our time. Uh, hold on. Okay, hold it on. Do you know why I'm not curious? Ah. What is this? Oh, you're wicked. What so did you I lie do? to me. 
Anything oh. you like me and you be winning me like that, uh, you will allow me to win just one time. But I'm not holding your hand now. You can't. Uh, is that what you're saying? You're almost more now. Yeah, I'm not playing it. <laughs> I cannot leave you. You are asking for the impossible, which is I should leave the most beautiful woman who continues to beautify my life. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know my queen, my princess. <laughs> I'm a princess, but you gave me six zero. Six. But I. But you, you almost won. Like you had one card. Smile, mm. Bobby. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> Thank you for all the happiness, for all the good times. Yes, yes, yes. I, I spoke to your dad. Okay. I spoke to him about the the, the study. Okay. He accepted for weekends only, Fridays and Saturdays. Uh, oh, okay, so why do I feel like that wasn't all you wanted to tell me? Why do I feel like you wanted to say more? Huh. Mm -hmm. I think because this woman over here loves this man here mm -hmm. just too much. Yeah. Every time she keeps anticipating <laughs> something new. Okay, let's play one more. This time I will win. Yes. Okay. I must. Win. No, you win with skill, not mouth, right? So what do you want me to do? Huh? Just what, Vera? I have to give you my permission. Why would you give your permission to them? Why would I not? Sometimes you surprise me at how you're blind to glaring things. What do you mean by that? So, you didn't realize that this boy is gold digging Asha. Where do you think he got the money to register for the program? Do you think that training costs one naira? He's only deceiving Asha into those rubbish he's doing. And you need to stop it. You need to stop the rubbish you're into. You might not be far from the truth, you know. But... He says it's for his self-development, which I think is okay. I support self-development anyway. In case you're worried about what he's doing with her, I already spoken to him, so there's no need for you to worry anymore. Nothing. Mm -hmm. So this is how you think you're going to take care of things? Like seriously? And you think they are going to listen to you because you talked. That it would change from it. Knowing fully well how Asha is stubborn. So what would you rather sack, me do? Sack Larry. Sack him. Sack him? Yes. Sack him and let him go. Let him leave the premises. All he is here to do is to deceive Asha. And the next thing he gets her pregnant. And by the time she gets pregnant, <laughs> Otilo, he is gone. Sly. Capri son. 
Disembark. Bulldog! I had gunshot. What yes, happened? Yes, she's, she's fine. Are you okay? She's fine. Huh? She's Talk fine. to me. What happened, Larry? Fine. Let's, let's have huh? Princess, are you okay? What happened? Support you or your family? Or do you have any business right now? Because this looks like an assassination attempt. Officer, no one comes readily to mind. I don't have any beef with anyone, not that I know of. You're the security man, right? Yes, sir. What scared them and why did they run away? I don't know. They had a gun to my head. And I had a gun to her head too. All of a sudden they just shot into the air and ran off. so that we can commence proper investigation. Please call me if you have any suspicious movement. Thank you, officer. Thank you once again. Uh, I will do just as you say. I'll see you tomorrow. Okay, oh, excuse me, sir. Captain Okvondu. Yes, please. I need help. Exactly. I will be waiting. Over and out. Fine, and you know it. How did you get mixed up with those assassins? They held a gun to my head. I could have been dead by now. 
Babe, just calm down. Don't tell me to calm down. Just tell me how you got mixed up with those criminals. I want to know. Tell me and tell me now. <laughs> that was the life I left behind. Okay, I, I'm not proud of it, but I had to identify to make sure they didn't kill you. That's why they're here. What? So you're an, an assassin? No, no, this can't be true. I, I don't it's, believe it, this. It, it, it. It's all in the past now. I left this life many years ago. But I can't let them hurt you. That's why I identified with it. That's, that's why I'm trying to let you know. It's, I told you before, there were things I did that I am not proud of. This was part of it. What? Oh my God. How many people have you killed? Tell me. Don't look at me like that. How many lives have you ended? How many families have you destroyed? How many dreams have you killed? How many people's future have you caught shot, you murderer? I did those things when I knew. When I didn't know better. I left when I when I did. I just want to get out. What? Get out! Leave my room this minute. I don't want to talk to you. I don't want to see you. Just leave now. Asha. Don't touch me! I don't even know who you are. I don't even know who you are. Just go. Leave my room now. Go. Go. We must scream. Leave. Leave. Oh my God. Don't tell me to calm down. I paid you the money you asked for. Gave you every information needed. What did you do? You hired amateurs. The gun was pointed directly on her head. Instead of pulling the trigger, they ran away like scared dogs. I don't care what their excuses are. What's important to me is to get someone who can finish the job I paid for. My patience is running out. I can't wait any longer. I want this thing done and dusted. I don't care. Just do it and deliver what I've, I've paid you for. <sighs> what, what are you doing here? Did I not tell you that I do not want to see your face again? What are you doing in my room? Your stepmother is the one that ordered the heat on you and you're not safe yet. What? Are you joking? No. I spoke to one of the guys and she's working with a man and yet to uncover his identity. Oh my God. Oh my God. What have I done to her? Why does she want to kill me so badly? What, what, is, what is this manner of hate? Why is she so desperate to end my life? Why? It's okay. Your father's wealth is the price. What? You are not safe yet, but I swear I will not let any harm come to you, even if it is the last thing I will do. I need to go to your father. I need to go to him with everything I know. Something has to be done no. urgently. No, 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 you can't. You're going to end up implicating yourself. It doesn't matter. Okay, the only important thing now is your safety. I've done so many things. You are one thing I did right. I am so sorry I came to you as a rotten goose. I wish I can turn back the hands of time and make myself a man worthy of you, but I can't. I have to live with the things I have done. And Asha, don't you ever question my love for you. Do you understand me? Yes, but I, but I won't like to implicate yourself. Don't say anything to anyone. I am sorry. I will not listen to you on this one. Please. I need to go. Larry! Oh, my God. Larry! Sir. 
what is the meaning of this string text I'm getting? All right, I, I just had to be discreet. Uh, I, I, that's why I told you not to show my dog. Discreet about what? I'd rather show you, sir. Please come. So, sir, inside this is the person who is behind the assassination attempt of your daughter, Asha. Ake! Ah! You must be joking. Larry, this is my associate and my employee. Lose him at once! Sir. It might also interest you to know that your wife is the one who conspired and funded the assassination. You must be mad. Something must be wrong with you. How can you tell me that rubbish? It was her idea. It was her idea. She wanted her dead. Mr. Donald, please believe me. It was all Veronica's idea. Please. Please. Don't be upset with me. Please. Please. <laughs> The teacher said that. Larry. Sir. Larry is true. Larry, it... Larry, what... What is happening? Why would Veronica want to do this to me? Why? Why, Larry? Your wealth is a target. If she had succeeded in taking out your daughter, you would have been the next. How did you get him? How did you get him to, to... The people he sent to hurt your daughter. They threatened to hurt him if he didn't come up with the evidence. So he is going to confess to the crime and provide evidence to nail your wife. But Larry, Sir? how did you get to him? I mean, how did you get him to, how did you get to let him bring this man here? I ask you one question. Who are you, Larry? Who are you? I will tell you everything about myself, but for now you need to go back. I don't want your wife suspecting anything. Just go back. Just, just go back. Go. I go. Yes, go. Everything is fine, sir. I go. Relax. You don't need to be tense. Just go. Don't worry. Take care of things. so early today. Vera, I can come home at any time. At any time, Vera. It's my house, remember? Yes, of course. I, I know. But it's just unusual. Like, on a weekday. That's by the way. Um, there's something I want to show you. I want you to listen to. I don't understand. Why am I listening to it? <laughs> well, I was hoping you'd be able to tell me whose voice that is ordering the assassination of someone, Vera. Honey, I... I don't... 
Uh, uh, it's okay, Vera. Since you have decided to have selective amnesia, eh? You select the things you remember. When your complex comes in, at least it will refresh in your memory. Eh? So you remember that. Officer! Officer! Move it. Hello, stepmother. <laughs> I told you I win in the end, didn't I? Well, this is me fulfilling that promise. Enjoy the mosquito bites itself. Mrs. Veronica Donald, you are under arrest for ordering, sponsoring, and organizing an assassination attack on Miss Asha Donald. <laughs> what? Go with me to the station. Go with him, John! Go! You can't manipulate my Madam, daddy now. anymore! Go with him! Go! If I change my mind and take this week from you, we get the woman. Which? I, I, I... Go with him! You're wasting my time! Go, 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 go! Daddy, should I take the week? My daddy can not this week! Get out! Go out! Madam, move! Go find her! She's a criminal! Go! You go! So, that I hate. I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh, no, I'm so sorry. Yeah. <sighs> She's gone now. That was Larry. I must commend you for your bravery and your commitment. Thank you, sir. You threw caution to the winds and risk everything, including your life, just to save my daughter. It means that you are very selfless and you really care about her. Pleasure, sir. I also heard that you brought her up from the dangerous pit that woman who called herself my wife had put her in. I am most grateful for everything that you have done for this family. Thank you, sir. Nevertheless, I have also heard of such a dangerous lifestyle you have led. Daddy, he doesn't live such lifestyle anymore. He's a new person now. Well, like my daughter has just said, you don't live the lifestyle anymore. Yeah. I just hope you don't go back. Never, sir. I just hope so for you. You see, I have had a few things about love. And one thing I know for sure is that um, one never ever forcefully stops the beating of the heart. I personally will not do that. Okay? But, if you want to be my son-in-law, you must be worthy of my daughter. You see, life has offered me possessions, but my daughter is the greatest possession I have. She means everything to me. She's the most important thing in life to me. What do you have to say? So, uh, I don't even know what to say, but I want to really appreciate you, sir, for having this conversation with me. I will not, and I will never take it for granted. Your daughter, she is the most beautiful soul I have ever seen, and she has brought so many good things in my life. 
I will, I promise, make myself a man worthy of her. Thank you so much, Debbie. I love you so much. You forever I be love my you hero. Too. I love you too. Larry! Sir. You're welcome, son. Thank you, sir. Welcome to my family. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. Thank you. Every other day I didn't think about you Remini the time I spent with you You were stuck in my memory Creating the love story Yeah The things we had to go then burn I never want to see you sad Love is so beautiful I can't even believe it Believe it So what next? Hmm. What next? Next is to make you a befitting son in law to my father. But before then, what? <laughs> The day I didn't think about you Premiere the time I spent with you You were stuck in my memory Creating the love story Yeah The things we had they could and burn I never want to see you sad Love is so beautiful I believe it now Cause I'm in love Ooh, I'm in love Oh yes, I'm in love I feel I'm in love I know I'm in love Ooh, I'm in love I think I'm in love I know I'm in love I think I'm in love I don't even know how come I need you Don't even know how come I want you But the way I'm feeling now I think I'm in love I don't even know why I come I want you I don't even know why I come I need you But the way I'm feeling 